last of four teenagers convicted of killing a 12-year-old Southern Indiana girl in 1992 was released from prison. But as WDRB Fallon Glick explains, a classmate calls it a major slap in the face to the victim and her family, even after 26 years. Fallon. Lindsay David, that classmate, says when Shanda Sherrill was killed, she got a life sentence. And he says the justice system should be ashamed to let all of her killers walk free again. More than two decades have passed, but Craig Schoonover still remembers the warm eyes and big smile of Shanda Scherer. Very um, happy, always in a good mood. He also remembers being in class with Melinda Loveless, who pleaded guilty to torturing, beating, and burning Scherer's body in a rural area of Jefferson County, Indiana. Her and I sat face to face with each other from August of 1991 till January of 92 when this happened. Loveless was released from prison on Thursday, and if Schoonover came face to face with her now... I probably wouldn't be able to hold my tongue. I mean, I would, I would at least give her a nice verbal thrashing. Loveless is the last of four people to be released from prison. She convinced three other teens, Hope Rippey, Lori Tackett, and Tony Lawrence, to participate in the crime because she believed Sharer stole her girlfriend. It was like just one of the most surreal feelings ever. Schoonover runs a Justice for Shanda Facebook page. He believes all four should have spent the rest of their lives in prison. The Indiana justice system should be really ashamed of themselves, honestly. It's just unfortunate that she ran into some legitimate monsters that are walking among us. And now, um, you know, the last one is free. It's, it's crazy. Cher would have been 40 years old this year. Loveless will be serving her parole in Jefferson County, Kentucky. Fallon Glick, WDRB News.